hello viewers welcome back to another section of my tutorial in this video i'm going to solve an apparently tricky tutorial with you okay so this happened to be a question in ac theory and you see four circuit elements are connected in series across a sinusoidal alternating voltage given by e is equal to 110 sine of wt plus 30 degrees so this is our total emf or total voltage and you see the instantaneous voltage across three of the elements are given by v1 which is equal to 30 sine omega t then v2 60 sine omega t plus 60 and v3 30 sine omega t minus 30 degrees now this angle here is what we call the phase angle phase angle when it is positive it means it's leading when it's negative it means lagging okay so let's see the first question is in determine the expression for the fourth voltage in the form of this. They said there is four circuit elements which are connected in series. So if you now have the total voltage and you have voltage across this three, you should be able to find what the fourth voltage. So kindly watch this video to the end. Don't want to skip any part of the video. Kindly subscribe if this is your first time visiting this channel for such educational videos like this. Okay, so we know that the voltage across series connection is equal to the sum of the voltages across each element so we are we say that e is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 then plus v4 so these elements are in series since the voltage across them is the sum the total voltage across them is the sum of the voltage across each so this is the formula we're going to use so right now we need v4 it is going to be equal to e minus the expression v1 plus v2 then plus v3 so this is what you are going to do now but these are not constant they are rather angular sinusoidal so we treat them differently so let's see how we're going to do it we have to resolve them with respect to their face angles so this 30 sin wt since there is no face angle it means the face angle is zero so look at what i'm going to do kindly watch this video well don't forget to subscribe as well so now i'm going to express all the elements into s component and the y component so let's see i write element here element i write the x component as well as the y component so i'll divide this part like this so i'll have something like this so for my v1 v1 is saying that 30 sine omega t there is no phase phase that um phase angle so you're going to say the s component to be 30 cos 0 degrees the angle is zero the phase angle is zero then this will be 30 sine 0 degrees we move on to v2 v2 you have 60 then the phase angle is 60 degrees so 60 cos 60 degrees then 60 sine 60 degrees as well as our v3 which will be equal to that one it is lagging so it's negative negative 30 so you have 30 sine we use a negative angle we don't ignore the negative so 30 sine sorry 30 cos for the x negative 30 degrees then 30 cos sorry 30 sine negative 30 degrees like this so this is it i've expressed them now the next thing to do is to write the solution for them each so let me draw or continue my x here so i'm going to have my s component let me extend this then my y component so doing this what is 30 cos 0 cos 0 is 1 so here will be 30 for the first part now what is sine 0 sine 0 is 0 so here will be 0 let me come to the second part sine 60 is equal to sine 60 is equal to half so i'll get 30 for that part so here will be 30 cos 60 is half so 60 sine 60 for the y part if you have 60 sine 60 what are you getting let me punch my calculator 60 sine 60 that will give us 30 with 3 so i'll write 30 root 3 you put it down then we come here 30 cos negative 30 you punch that on the calculus 30 cos 
negative 30. Remember, cos is an even function. To give a positive value, that is 15 root 3. 15 root 3. Then 30 sine negative 30. That will be negative 15. So negative 15. So the next thing to do is to find the total. That is, we're going to find v1 plus v2 plus v3. What do we do? I'll add all the x components together. So here's going to give me 60, 30 plus 30 plus 15 root 3. So 30 plus 30 plus 15 root 3. And that is going to give me 85.98. So I write my 85.98 here. And when I come to the right side, I'm going to get 0 plus 30 root 3 then minus 15 and that will give me 36.96 so 36.96 now i have my total x and total what y for the sum so what am i going to do now i know that this whole expression i've got it to be this i'm going to find the magnitude of this so i'm going to find the magnitude that is magnitude of v4 to be equal to the square root of 85.98 squared plus 36.96 squared and what would that give me so root of 85.98 squared plus 36.96 squared and that will be equal to 93.58 so it will give me 93.5 let me make it 5 now rather so that is the magnitude then you find the theta that is the face angle or the face angle that will be tan inverse of the y over x so 36.96 all over 85.98 so tan inverse tan inverse of this expression 36 36. Point 96 over the expression 85.98.98 and that is giving me 23.26 23.26 degrees so therefore sorry this is not the magnitude of v4 but rather the magnitude of v1 plus v2 plus v3 is equal to 93.59 then also the face angle for this v1 plus v2 plus v3 will also be equal to 23.26 so right now i'm halfway done so i'll come back to my solution and you see that our v4 is e minus this and now we have this so we can rewrite this whole expression as equal to 93.59 sine of the expression wt plus what 23.26 like that so now this is the sum of this so we come back to our expression so v4 will now be equal to our e which is 110 from the question 110 sine the expression wt plus 30 degrees minus this expression that we've got 93.59.59 sine omega t plus 23.26 23.26 like this so this is v4 we have to just do this simplification and we are done so once again we are going to find the s components and the y component then we add so my s for this i'll get 110 what 30 the y is 110 sine 30 then for the down one so i'm going to get negative sorry i'm going to i'm taking only this part so i'm going to get 93.59 cos 23.26 then here i'm going to get 93.59 sine 23.26 so right now i'm going to write my solution for the top one but the operation here is minus so this minus this sorry so the operation between 
here is minus so what we are going to do is this alone all these minus the down one I, I made it this part so for the 110 cos theta what am I getting 110 cos 30 degrees so that will give me 95.26 so I get 95.26 then the y part will be the y part will be 110 sin 30 110 sin 30 and that will give me 55 so I write my 55 here that is for the e the minus this part two the x is going up 93.59 93.59 cos 23.26 and that is giving me 85.98 so I write my 85.98 then the down one two is 93 sine 23.26 23.26 and that will give me 36.96 36.96 we do a simple subtraction and we move on so we are going to get 95.26 minus 85.98 and that will give us 9.28 so i'm going to get v4 to be equal to 9.28 then the denominator will be 55 minus 36.96 and that will be 18.04 18.04 like this so here i'm to find the magnitude of v4 which will be equal to the square root of 9.28 squared plus 18.04 squared so you just punch square root of 9.28 squared then plus 18.04 squared and that will give me 20 point 20 point 29 so I'm going to get that to be 20 point 29 then what about the theta that is tan inverse of the y 18.04 over what 9.28 so tan inverse tan inverse of 18.04 over 9.28 and that is giving me 62.78 62.78 degrees therefore finally our v4 is simply equal to 20.29 sine sine open brackets omega t then plus 62.78 like that that is v and it's actually expressed in the form a sine so here our a is what we have here 20.29 then our beta is what we have here now the second part of the question is saying we should find the rms value of v4 you know rms you just take the highest or the p value and divide it by root 2 so rms is simply equal to 20.29 over root 2 and what are we getting 20.29 over square root of 2 and that is giving me 14.35 14 point three five four thanks for watching this video kindly subscribe and don't forget to also like because i'll be posting all these relevant videos thank you